I know three ways you can have multiple sheets in one drawing with CNM. The first way is really easy and it's demonstrated on the last sheets in this drawing set. The bubble notes are put into paper space and in CNM options we tell it to limit the search to the bubble notes in paper space of the current layout only. That way it's very obvious and easy to make a table like that. If on the other hand I had not set it to search only the current view, the current layout, then uh, when I made a table, I think I would have got everything in the project. All right, while we're changing that back, let's read this. CNM never searches layers frozen in general or in the current viewport. So with that knowledge, we can use the second method. I'm going to actually leave this unchecked because we're going to try to control different sheets using viewport freezing. Since we're going to put the, the since I happen to be putting the um, keynotes table in paper space, I will thaw the respective sheet in paper space and that way it will show up in in the keynotes table. I'll show you what I'm saying. It's a little confusing, but I think I like it better because everything's in model space. If I go to this sheet, you can see that the bubble notes are not in paper space. They're in model space. And I've already put them on special layers. Um, that's on a sheet one layer. Uh, this one if I click on it, it's on the sheet 2 layer, so that's a problem. I obviously don't have my visibility set up yet. So what I'm going to do is use the VP layer command, and I'm going to say VP layer freeze star bubble star in all viewports. That should be good and then I need to see it in this viewport so I can I guess go to the layer manager and um, find that bubble this is a vanilla installation and I'll thaw sheet one in this viewport and then I'll thaw it also in the paper space viewport so that I get my table right since I'm uh, inserting the table in paper space. I could do it in model space. Okay, but it's the viewport that's current when I run the table refresh command. So there we go. But if I had not thought it in the paper space viewport, I shouldn't get any. I won't get anything. And if I had left everything thawed in all viewports, then I will get every bubble note, every construction note on the project. And I like that method. The third method is kind of roll your own. You uh, make layers for every sheet and then use your own scripts to freeze and thaw things before you make the keynotes table. That can work really great if you like programming and you can make some wrapper functions uh, for, for CNM. But just without any additional programming and scripting, I like method two and method one is fine also. If you don't mind having to switch back and forth between paper space and model space, which I don't think it's ideal. So that's why I like method two. Thanks for watching.